Another wonderful treasure we have in our Historical Society collection for the town of Lightning Ridge is the beautiful gold pocket watch that belonged to Charles Nettleton, our founding father. This item is an Elgin watch, which is one of America's best. It doesn't work. You can see that the glass is there, but it's there, there are loose parts. But what we were mainly interested in was the inscription. And by pressing at the back, we can see C. Nettleton, Walgett. This item is absolutely priceless to us. And it was found in the strangest way. The story of the watch is that one of our opal miners met a country western singer. She and her sister were performing here in Lightning Ridge. They struck a chord and they married. She lived up in Queensland, one of the suburbs up in Brisbane, and uh, they went back to her home in the heat of the summer and had a cool time, but cool in some divisions. He was bored stiff. Now she had a pocket watch collection and he was one day just in the collection popping the backs of watches off, just killing time really. Maybe he was creating an inventory for her, maybe it was something she'd never done, but he certainly became interested when he popped the back off of this watch and said, see Nettleton Walgett, I know who that is. So our opal miner, well, he knew who Charlie Nettleton was because he'd been reading the local newspaper and the Historical Society was always, you know, banging on about Charlie Nettleton, how he walked from White Cliffs and how he discovered uh, the potential of, of black opal. And it's a great story, really. He showed it to those of us at the Historical Society and, I mean, we were just thrilled to hold something like this in our hand. How lucky were we? And maybe jumping the gun a bit, hoping that he'd say, here, you can have it for your collection. Well, it wasn't his to give. But we knew he had it, and every year he came down, we asked about the watch and, and showing great interest. But uh, one day, this watch came up for sale, and we had to buy it. So no price would have been too much. And it is a very treasured and wonderful piece of jewelry to have. Who knows when he lost this? Because he was a gold miner. He would have gone up to Queensland looking for gold. Maybe he lost it on the Krakow gold fields. Maybe somebody found it. Who knows? But to us, it's a very solid piece of information. This video was made with the support and participation of the Lightning Ridge Historical Society. If you visit Lightning Ridge, you should stop by and visit the Historical Society's hut and cottage hospital in Marilla Street to learn more about the history of the home of the Black Opal. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to IDU on YouTube and following IDU on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The links are all in the description. Thank you for watching.